us our praise this morning. Yes, Lord. Lord, we're going to give you the praise. Yes, 
because you are worthy, you are worthy. of all of our praise. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. From the gospel, as recorded by St. Mark. St. Mark, the 10th chapter, verses 20 through 22. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack. Go your way. Sell whatever you have and give to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. But he was sad at this word and went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. And I want to talk to you this morning from the thought, what's God? You. Uh, come on, Pastor. What's got you? What's got you? All of us, if we're honest with ourselves, at some point in our lives had something in our lives that we were hanging on to that we found hard, very hard, and difficult to give up. Some of us were afraid to go and turn our lives over to the Lord because we just wanted to hang on to that thing. Well, Whatever it was, just a little while longer. Yeah. We felt like if we gave it up, uh, we wouldn't be able to have any fun. Yeah. So we held on to it. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's true. Some held on it so long, to it so long that they missed out on accepting Jesus Christ. Yeah. But whatever is holding you back from accepting him, yes. you need to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So I ask you this morning that if you aren't saved, mm-hmm. what's got you? Right now. Right now. Right now. Now don't get it twisted. Even though we, some of us are saved, yes. there are still some things that we are Say wrestling that. with. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 but the good news is that God is still working on it. Yes. Yes. Looking at the text, Matthew and Luke records this, and they say that this young man was a rich young ruler. Mm-hmm. The word says in Mark chapter 10, starting at verse 17, Jesus has just dealt with some hypocrites who didn't want him to lay his hands on little children. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to them, suffer the little children and forbid them not to come to him because he said, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So after having this encounter with the scribes and the Pharisees, he proceeds on his journey to Jerusalem. And as he's going, it says now as he was going out on the road, Mm -hmm. one came running knelt before him and asked him, good teacher, Uh what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Mm -hmm. This young man came running to Jesus and gave Jesus all kinds of respect, Mm -hmm. reverence. He knelt down before him, not realizing that eternal life was right at his fingertips. He was looking at the one who was able to give him eternal life. But notice, he wasn't looking for Jesus as a Messiah. Uh Mm -hmm. He wanted to do what must I do. do. He felt like he was good enough to work his way Mm -hmm. into the kingdom. Good teacher. Mm -hmm. This phrase wasn't used in Jesus' day except for the ones who were saying that God, the Father, was good. What shall I do? I want you to understand this morning that Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid 
the price for our salvation. Yes, it did. All we have to do is accept him. Yes. Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? That I may live forever. Because there's got to be something beyond this life existence. Yes, 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 yes. So Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? Are you acknowledging that I am the Messiah? No one is good but one, and that is God. So you are, are you acknowledging me as God the Son? Jesus looked at him and said, you know the command. <laughs> Jesus knew that as a young man, Jewish children are taught the word of God. Yes. Taught to memorize it, to quote it. Yes. So he says, you know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Mm -hmm. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. Yes. Now notice Jesus didn't deal with the first four commandments that deals with man's relationship to God. Mm -hmm. He dealt with the last six man's relationship with one another. That's right. He was trying to get the young man to see you haven't kept the first four. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> let alone all the commandments. Well. So Jesus says, and he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. I believe he had his chest stuck out like he, had, he was about to say, really, really say something. All of these tell me something that I haven't kept. <laughs> Young man just didn't get it. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him. I want you to understand this morning that Jesus loves all of us. Yes. But Jesus loving us is not enough to get you into heaven. Well, 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 well. That's it, Pastor. Jesus on. loving you alone is not enough That's to it. get you into heaven. God loves everybody. Yes, he does, Pastor. That's right. And it says... Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him yes. and said to him, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing you like. Can you imagine getting up there, standing in front of the judgment seat of Christ to find out that you missed out on him? One thing, one little thing kept you out of the king. He says, go your way and sell whatever you have and give to the poor. Mm -hmm. And you will have treasure where? In heaven. But he felt like he wanted to hold on to his earthly treasure. Mm -hmm. That the treasure in heaven wasn't good enough. And maybe Jesus wasn't trustworthy enough. Wow. And you will have treasure in heaven. Well. And come Take up your cross yes. and follow me. Yes. You need to follow me. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on the prize. You want to inherit eternal life? Mm -hmm. I'm the one who has eternal life. Yes. If you want eternal life, follow me. Right. Mm -hmm. But he was sad mm -hmm. at this word. Why? And when we're sorrowful, for he had in actuality, he didn't have great riches. His riches had him. Yeah, there you go. Say so, he wasn't in possession of his riches or his wealth, but his wealth was in, possi in possession of him. Yeah. So I ask you this morning, what's got you? The young man riches, his possessions had him. Maybe your possessions don't have you, but is there anything that you treasure and value more than you do God? If you do, it's got you. Yes. The young man should have realized Romans three twenty three says, "For all, all, all of us, all of us no one is exempt. No matter how well you may think that you are living, you've already messed up at some point in your life. And if you think that you are without sin, you're sinning right now. For all." Sin falls short yes. of the glory of God. Yes. We've all missed the mark. Yes. Yes. God has set a standard.
and, and we've all fallen short. So we can't point a finger at someone else and talk about, well, he's messing up or worse than I am. All of them at one point was torn up from the floor. But thanks be to God. But thanks be to God for his son Jesus Christ. For all have sinned. Yes, sir. And come short of the glory of God. Yes, Lord. That's why I don't want my works, the works that I've done to speak for me. Mm -hmm. Because even though I've been saved for a while, I still haven't dotted every I, yeah. nor crossed every T. I'm still coming up short. Yes. In that great getting up morning, I want God's love. Yes. I want his grace. Yes. I want his mercy. Yes. I want his kindness. Yes. I want his compassion. Yes. I want his blood. I want everything that yes. Jesus has yes. to work for me yes. and to speak for yes. me. Yes. All right? Paul says, for I say, this young rich young ruler thought he had it going on. Paul says, for I say through the grace, God's unmerited favor, given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think, think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. You have to be careful about how you look down your nose at someone else. That's right, Pastor. Because it wasn't for the grace of God, we will still be in our sins right now. Oh, yes, sir. For I say through the grace given to me. Notice he says, I didn't earn this grace. You didn't earn God's grace. It was given to you freely from above by God. Yes. Pointing one finger at one person, but how many do you have pointing back at yourself? What's got you? What's got you? See, pride won't make you think that you are better than someone else. But pride will make you feel like you're supposed to be ahead of someone else. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So he says not to think of oneself more highly. Then you ought to think. This is how God wants us to think. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If I look at Deacon Harrison and think of him more highly than I think of myself, I'm looking up to Deacon Harrison. That's right. That's right. If Deacon Harrison is looking at me more highly than he is himself, then Deacon Harrison is looking up to me. And if everyone had that, that frame of mind and that, that attitude towards one another, all of us would be lifted looking up at one another instead of looking down at each other. That's good right there, remember that's good. All right. Yes. All right. Galatians 6.3 says, for if anyone, for if anyone thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives. You're not fooling anyone but yourself. For if anyone thinks himself to be something, the word of God says, dust thou art, and dust thou shalt return. Men will buy dirt to fill in the yard, but no one wants dust. So he says, for when, if anyone thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But everybody is somebody. In Christ Jesus. Yes, My brothers and sisters, what's got you? What's keeping you from coming to Jesus right now? The songwriter said, I came to Jesus just as I was. Weary, wounded in sight. But I found in him a resting place. And you in him all. Make me glad. Just because a person may come to church every Sunday. Don't mean that you know the Lord. Just because you may come to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't mean that you're saved. Mm -hmm. You can come to church unsaved and leave them unsaved. Mm -hmm. So Jesus on his sermon on the mount, Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. 
but he who does the will yeah, of it. my Father in heaven. Notice what Jesus says. Many will say to me in Amen. that day, Amen. judgment day, mm -hmm. Lord, 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 have we not prophesied in your name, your name. cast out demons in your, your name, name. Mm -hmm. and done many wonders in your name. your name? Don't you know that God can use the devil mm -hmm. to bless somebody? Don't you know that? Just because a miracle was worked by your hands That's don't right. mean that you're saved. That's and draw a straight line. Yes, sir. So verse 23 says, after you preach your case and have your, have your chest stuck out, he says, then I will declare to them, I, look at these last, these, these next seven words, I never knew you. Depart from me. Oh, you cast out demons. You certainly did. You healed the sick. You certainly did. You prayed over folk. And you used my name. But I never knew you. Jesus. What's got you? He says, you who practice lawlessness. Didn't I? Didn't we? Notice, he didn't say he didn't do it. He could use the devil Lord, mercy, to bless his people. Lord, have mercy, Pastor. Folks said he had one foot in church and one foot out. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. He was in church and didn't think I knew he was back out there in the world. He wasn't ever in the world, in the church. He was coming to church physically. It's about like that song, that secular song says, your body's here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town. Their physical bodies were in the church on Sunday mornings, but their minds, <coughs> the word says, wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be. Yes, sir. See that what's got y'all? <laughs> Sees the 
the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The grave cannot hold these bodies of ours down. For one day when Jesus descends and splits the eastern sky, he's going to call our name. Yes, he is. And all of us that are in the graves out yes. there, we're going to get up. Yes. Never to lay down again. All right. He's going to impart to all of us yes. everlasting life. life. Yes, sir. Yes. What's got you? Then John 14, 6. The young man didn't realize that the one that had eternal life to offer was standing right there in front of him. Uh, I need John 14, 6. John 14, 6, Jesus says, There is no other way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except through and by me. If you want eternal life, you can't work hard enough to get your way into heaven. Right. You've got to come before Jesus Christ. Yeah. You've got to accept him yeah. as your personal Lord and Savior. Yeah. I ask you once again, yeah. what's got you? Yeah. Yeah. Lord Jesus. You good. Acts chapter 2, 37 through 41, on the day of Pentecost. Peter gets up and preaches a five-minute sermon and over 3,000 people are saved. Peter's preaching the word at the conclusion of his message, his discourse. Now when they heard this, the word being preached, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, repent. Yes. Just turn around. That's it. Don't make a 360 as you end up in the same spot. That you were in. That's right. He says, just turn. Just turn. That's what the word repent means to turn yes. and go in another direction. Yes. He says, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ yes. for the remission of sin. Mm -hmm. And you shall receive the gift yes. of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right? For the promise, mm -hmm. for the promise mm -hmm. is to you. And to your children, mm -hmm. and to all who are far off, mm -hmm. as many as the Lord our God will call. Yes. Mm -hmm. The promise is to you yes. and to your children, yes. and to all of those yes. who want to give up whatever's got them no, and accept Jesus Christ. That's right, yes. And with many other words, he testified and exalted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. Now, I'm exalting you today. We're living in some perilous times. There's some crazy stuff. There is some crazy stuff that's going on out there in the world today. He says, save yourself from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word, whatever was hindering them, they decided to let it go. They received his word and were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added yes. to them. Mm -hmm. They started church that Sunday morning with about 120. <laughs> they ended the morning service yeah. with 3,120. Yeah. What's got you? All right. Then Acts chapter 4, verses 8 and 12. Then Peter. <laughs> Filled yes, yes, yes. with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Said to them, rulers of the people and the elders of Israel, mm -hmm. if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well, let it be known to you all, for we are not ashamed of the gospel. And to all the people of Israel, that by the name El Harrison yes. of Jesus Christ, yes. Of yes, yes, Lord, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, oh, yes. by him this man stands yes. before you hold. Yes. Who did it? God did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nobody but him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is the stone Thank you, Jesus. which was rejected by the elders. 
which has become the chief cornerstone. Well. No. Mama couldn't do it. Mm -mm. Daddy couldn't do it. Oh no. I went to the church and the deacons and the mamas couldn't do it. My God. I went to the pastor and my pastor couldn't do it. My God. Nor is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven That's given right. among men by which you must be saved. Yes. Yes. Jesus is the way. Yes, he, is. he is the truth and the life. Yes. So what's got you? Yes. Romans. If you want a, uh, eternal life, Romans 8, Romans 10, 8 and 13 mm -hmm. says, mm -hmm. but what does it say? The word is near you, New Hope, mm -hmm. in your mouth and in your heart. Yes. That is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. That if Jesus loved that rich young woman, but as I said earlier, love alone, Jesus' love alone is not going to get you into heaven. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But with the heart. Yes. That's this it. This is a heart thing. That's it, my dad. Yes. But with the heart. Mm -hmm. I said in the word of God declares that where your treasure is, yes. again, there will your heart be also. Yes. It's not just a head thing, it's a heart thing. It is. For with the heart, one believes into righteousness. Yeah. And with the mouth, confession is made yeah. unto salvation. That's right. yeah. And salvation is found in none other but Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came to Jesus. Yes. Yes, sir. All right? For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord, same Lord, not a different Lord, not a different Jesus, but the same Lord, same Lord. over all is rich to all who call upon him. When's the last time you called him? For whoever calls on the name of the Lord. Yes. Yes, sir. That's another promise. God has never made a promise. That's right, man. If he said it, it's another deal. It is so. If you want to be saved, yes. if you want your whole household saved, yes. you need to turn it over to the Lord. Yes. Tell Jesus all about it. That's right. I've got some of my family who's not saved. My I need you to send your Holy Spirit out there.
All right. Yes. Yes. Have you tried him lately? Yes. Have you tried him? Call on him. Yes. And see when he comes. Yes. We've asked everyone to stay. Maybe there's one today who has not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If you haven't, whatever's hindering you, just let go. And let go. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I'm not. And if you hear my voice, and if you will open the door, Say it again, does somebody get it? Uh